I can't even process what happened today. Oh my god! Today, I'm going to meet my dream partner. And my dream partner, I mean dream bag, because I got a Hermes rendezvous appointment. Literally the third day that I applied for it, while I got here, I got the Hermes rendezvous appointment. Okay, I'll show you the tax. Blue is so excited about it. We also have to go to Chanel because I have to get my tax free. But this is the email that I got. Dear Madame, we are pleased to confirm your appointment. You'll be welcomed on the 24th, our store 24 Faubourg, St. Honoré, the flagship store at 3.35. We have three hours. The given hour might be subject to change. Please kindly follow up on your appointment status. The thing is, look, it's not working. Whenever I click that link, it doesn't work. So I'm just going to show up a little bit early. I'm also getting these texts. So I don't know. I'm a little anxious about it because I'm so excited. But we're still three hours early. I think we should be fine. I'm going to do a little bit of makeup. I'm so tired. I couldn't sleep last night because I was thinking of all the things I was going to say. But I think this is my outfit. I think you're supposed to wear Hermes to show that you like like the brand. So I have my little belt. I'm wearing my new Chanel shoes that I just got because I also heard that they'll pick a bag based on your outfit. So I'm like, okay, I'm, wearing, I'm gonna wear black and fucking pink because I I want like a black bag or a pink bag. All them know like I'm okay with a pop of color. I don't know. I don't know what bag I want to wear, but but oh my god. Once I got the email last night, you should have seen me. I literally started shaking. I immediately FaceTimed Sierra and my friend Hyla because they both had got Birkins and Kelly's from the boutique before. So I was like, oh my God, like, what should I ask for? Like, what should I do? I don't know if people are going to be like, oh my God, Adeline, like, this is literally just for a bag. Like, girl, this is excessive for a bag. Okay, but I think that this is a really cool milestone. You know, being able to work hard and treat yourself to a bag, you know, you make your money, you spend it any way that you want. I make my money, I spend it any way that I want. Want. and billionaires make money and I don't know how they spend their money but <laughs> but it's just like how people collect things like some people collect magazines I love collecting bags it makes me really happy so I don't want to see no comments like that oh it's just a bag this is so crazy for a bag bitch I know okay I know I bet you would want to date Megan Fox too because she's exclusive and expensive I want a Birkin bag because it's exclusive and expensive so I think if I were to ask for anything I am gonna ask for a Birkin 30 in a neutral color preferably nuance in black with togo leather but i'm also okay with epsom because i know they've been making that new recently and then maybe a uh, kelly 25 in any color because we love a good colorful moment that's why i wear the pop color in the shoes but guys i was so nervous last night i literally had nightmares about this fucking appointment i think i didn't fall asleep till five in the morning first of all and i had nightmares about the appointment i had a nightmare that they changed my appointment to 6 p.m which the store closes at 6 p.m and i'm like do they know i'm gonna see me am i gonna get the worst bag because i'm the last appointment and then <laughs> I had a nightmare that they offered me a Pikachu. Like, <laughs> I really hope they offer me a Birkin or a Kelly. But I have hope because my friend Hyla got a Birkin at this store, the flagship store. So I'm not gonna lose hope. I have high hopes. I've been really lucky this trip so far. Like, it was a shit show to get here. It was awful. The flight and everything and the move, and it was so stressful. But ever since I moved here, I have been so lucky. I've been able to get all the things that I wanted at Chanel. Like, everyone has been so nice to me. So I'm just gonna keep this luck up. Lucky girl syndrome up. But honestly, I'm not gonna say it to them, but I honestly would be really happy with any bag that they offer just to say, oh my god, I got it at the flagship store. But I'm not gonna say that because I really want to break in Eric Kelly. <laughs> but here's the finished makeup. And I don't know if I told you, but apparently 20,000 people apply a day and only 200 people get accepted. So I'm already feeling lucky. Just the fact that we even got this appointment. So ah, my fingers crossed. I'm eating my almond croissant. I'm gonna make a coffee and then maybe head to Chanel just to get my tax refund and then for to Hermes. Ooh, too much wine. Here's my outfit. I'm wearing all black with this nude blazer. I have my belt and this little Chanel bag. Sunglasses. I feel like it's a chill bag. First stop, we made it to Chanel. I, I know. I just need my tax break. We made it. Oh, we have to cross the street. Ah! 
Oh my god, I felt orange. Here we go. I'm gonna go to the second counter and have my appointment. So they told me to take a seat. I checked in and everything, but I feel really good because I feel like there's not a lot of people here. So, and my name was in green when I saw it on our phone. So maybe we came early. We're like an hour and a half early. So hopefully they can help us now. They asked us if we had any anything drinks like that water because I actually am sweating like so much. We just got a water, but I'm so excited. I feel like me and the lady have literally the same taste. I was like, I like this, 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 this. She was like, oh my god, me too, of course. Like the chocolate leather, more slashy, more chic. And I was like, oh, you just, she just gets me. She just gets me. So we'll see. She said she's gonna look in the back and see if she has anything. But Caroline thinks it went well. So I think it really went well. I was like, dang, she always does. <laughs> yeah. But one thing I do have to say. I feel like her eyes lit up when I said the new color, limoncello. And mm. yellow is literally like how iconic would it be if my first ever broken bag or Hermes bag at the boutique was yellow. That would be crazy. I think it's literally that. It's like that yellow color. It would definitely be a pop, but I think it could be something that I literally would wear every day. <laughs> but I told her my number one is a Birkin 30 Togo leather. You want a black, preferably gold hardware. So you spoke the language. I don't know what you guys were saying. <laughs> we're like, speaking our best. Yes, I was like, wow, you know what I'm Like if someone came in, like, well, I guess you wouldn't have an appointment if you don't know. But like, yeah, that was, some like, people do. That was, like, if you're lucky. Homework. <laughs> I've been doing homework. Yeah, like that's a degree. <laughs> so they took us an hour early, which I think is crazy because our appointment is originally at 3:30, and then right now it's 2:30. Is it 2:30? 2:30, yeah. Yeah. So we're doing something even better. We're making a bag. I'm I'm so excited! It's gonna come in eight months. I'm thinking of doing a mini Kelly, so I think I wanna do like a yellow. Look at all these options. Oh my god. I could even do exotic if I wanted to. Oh my god. And then look at all these pinks. This pink is insane. So here's all the hardware that we could choose from. Okay, so I think I chose these are my colors that I'm going towards. Yellow and pink. Because how much that is so me, right? Then we have all of these hardwares that we could choose from. I'm also a gold girl, so I need to choose gold. I'm gonna do the same stitch as what's on the outside and then there's all these that you can stamp and customize it yeah these are the colors that i was given i think she also gave me they gave me something light because i was like oh a pink would be so cute but i don't know look at the puppy Ooh, he's so cute. but right now i'm looking at blankets wouldn't this be so cute for the apartment and then also for canada oh my god this would match the bag perfectly i'm pretty sure this is it jean de naples no it's jean topaz i found the perfect blanket i'm gonna get the blanket i was looking around the shoes but i was like i don't really need shoes right now maybe like in a month or two if they come out with new stuff but <laughs> He's like blue. We got everything. This is the blanket. Those are the pillows. We're all set. Of course, the masks are pink. I just called my Uber. The Uber is five minutes away. Pickle, want to show us the lunch? So we got some pasta, woo, cheese. Caroline got a pizza, truffle pizza, and an Aperol spritz, some bread, because I need a drink after this. Like, this is crazy. You want some? I made it home. <laughs> Today is literally, I don't know what it is. I feel like I just have been saying these lucky girl syndrome affirmations every single day and I swear to God they're working like you would say oh great things are always coming to me i don't know why it is so easy great things always fall into my lap and it's actually been happening i can't believe today i can't even i can't even process what happened today as you guys can see i got some things from ms and i also made a special order bag that's going to be coming she said in about six months so ah! <laughs> and the lady was just so nice. I swear, you guys. Caroline literally said, she's like, you guys literally have the exact same taste. Like, she knew what I was into. And I even was like, you know, she said, is there anything else besides, the, you know, the Birkin, the Kelly, anything else that you want? And I was like, you know, I would love a mini Kelly. Like, I love mini bags. I wear mini bags all the time. But I didn't want to ask because I know you guys only get a certain amount per month. So she comes back and she's carrying this red box. And I'm like, oh, it's probably like, you know, something that I didn't ask for. She's like, oh, it's something, you know, not what you asked for, but I think that it's better. And she goes, we're going to cuss and make your own bag. Ah! I literally, my jaw dropped to the floor. I literally, like, I'm like, what the f I literally told her, I'm like, I, I don't even know what to do. I, I didn't even plan this. Like, I don't know. Like, it all happened so fast because a lot of the times for these custom order bags, you have to be a very dedicated client with Hermes. And of course, like, I buy things, like, you know, here and there. But I'm just starting my Paris profile. And I told her, I'm like, oh, I just moved to Paris. So she's like, this is your welcome to Paris present. And I'm like, oh my God. So, ah! 
Okay, that bag is going to be coming in six months, but I'll show you guys. It's a mini Kelly. Yay! And I told her I'm literally gonna frame it. I'm putting it on the fucking frame, bitch. I, I'm gonna look at it every day. I'm gonna do my lock screen, my home screen. She was like, yes. <laughs> And she was so nice because a lot of the times I would go to the, the flagship store and sometimes they're not so nice, but she was so sweet. Everybody that I worked with was so sweet. She directed me to the lady that worked in the home decor section. And of course I told her, I'm like, oh, I'm moving to Paris. I need some home decor. So, ah! so I got some things. These are the biggest bags I've ever gotten from Hermes. I didn't even know that they make bags this big. <laughs> but I got some home decor things, which I think would work perfectly with the apartment, especially here. Like you'll see, I showed it in the vlog. So you probably know what I got. Ah, okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. First of all, in this first bag, I got, you can tell what it is. It's a pillow. I asked them for some pink pillows and these are their new ones. I originally on my inspo board, they had this pink and orange pillow, but they said that that was the last collection. But I think that this one looks really good too. I thought it could be cute for the couch or either my room. So I got two of them so that it matches perfectly. And you know what's the best? Of course, I'm gonna be living in Paris, but if I ever move back to Canada or Toronto, this bitch works perfectly with my whole aesthetic in Toronto. Like with the pink chairs, like I'll insert a photo. Tell me that's not perfect. It's literally perfect. The pink and the purple, I just think is super, super, super cute. I also stole some magazines. They just had these and Caroline's aunt loves Hermes. So she got that for her. We also got some postcards and then in the other box. Oh my god. I have my receipt and then of course I had to steal my magazine and I wanted to send a postcard. I honestly I wanted to send a postcard to Hyla and my friend Sierra because they're the ones that could just talk Hermes for days and days and days. I literally, Caroline was telling me, she's like the way that you were talking with the lady, it was like a fucking language. Like you you did your fucking homework. She is like, I didn't understand what you were saying with cellier, retourne, like Epsom leather, like oh, whatever the fuck. And I'm like, girl, you don't understand. I'm obsessed. <laughs> It's the things that get me going. But in this box, I don't want to ruin it. It's packaged so beautifully. Maybe I'll, I'll take a photo really quick. One second. But here's the most satisfying part. Unboxing. This is a really big box. We got the matching blanket. And I think it matches perfectly. I almost feel like this is more perfect than the one that I was originally looking at. Because look at that. That goes with the apartment so perfectly. It's going to go with my Canada house perfectly if I ever move back. Like, you like it? Smell good? I think she thinks it smells good. But I was going back and forth. I wasn't sure if I should have this in the living room because I don't know if you see it's also blue. For blue, baby. But I wasn't sure if I should do this maybe as my throw in my bedroom and then have the pillows in my room or like scatter them somewhere. I don't know. I don't know if I want to put the pillows here or the blanket here or the pillows in my room or the blanket in my room, but I'm so happy with all of my purchases and I'm so happy that they had pink in stock. And I even showed the sales associate. I was like, this is my apartment. I was showing her pictures. She's like, oh my God, it would be perfect for it. She's like, it's très joli, very beautiful, like so cute. <laughs> but yeah, blue, you better not ruin these blankets because she tends to dig in the pillows and stuff like that, but whatever. Pillows are meant to be used. People are always like, oh, like, are you actually gonna use like all the nice designer shit that you buy? And yes, it is an investment, but like shoes are shoes and like bags are bags and pillows are pillows and blankets are blankets. Like they're meant to be used. So sometimes I'm like, I don't know, like they're meant to be used. So <laughs> as long as we just make sure that it's kept up nicely, but mm, this is everything that I got in a mess today. And I can't believe it. I can't believe that all of this was in stock. It actually matches the chairs so perfectly. Look at this. The pink and the purple with the pink and the purple chairs. I couldn't believe it. It was meant to be. This whole day was meant to be. I'm on live right now. I'm asking what everybody <laughs> likes either the couch or on my bed. But this is what it looks like on my bed. It's cute, right? So this is the bed. I'm asking them if I should put the pillows on the bed or pillows on the couch or put the blanket on the bed or the blanket on the couch. Because I want to spread it out because I want it to feel cohesive. I do like the look of the pillow. I don't know. I like the look of the blanket. F I don't know what I want. Okay, I took my makeup off and I'm gonna get to work with the nightstands. This is a nightstand before. Ta -da! No storage. And I'm gonna open these. These ones have drawers. Um, I need a screwdriver and I do not have a screwdriver, so this will be a tomorrow thing. When we were getting coffee this morning, I got some flowers. Look at how cute they are. 
I think these are becoming my new favorite flowers. I think they're called peonies. I'm not 100% sure what they're called, but I thought they would be really cute. To put them in the new vase that I just bought. Like, look at how cute. They're the perfect shade of pink for the apartment. <laughs> Blue woke up from her nap. I love the way that they wrapped it. We took photos. It's so cute. <laughs> Always cut on a diagonal. Perfect. Oh, I'm sorry, little guy. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh. Okay, I'll put it. All the trash. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Maybe I might put it closer to the sun because. I wanted to get a little sun while we leave. Blue is a gaslighter. She fully can jump up, but she asked me to bring her up. <laughs> oh. Don't forget, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I got so tan because I just went to the south of France. I don't know if you followed me on my TikTok, but I did a little vlog of it. I also did a mini vlog for YouTube. It'll probably be coming my next YouTube video is going to the south of France. But yeah, so excited for you guys to see it. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today's merch shout out of the day goes to Natalie Rose on Instagram. I should wear it. We're matching. She's wearing the I don't chase. I attract crew neck, which I just think is so so cute for the summer for like lazy nights or even just lounging at home like I love wearing this I wear this and I think an extra large just for reference because I like to wear it as a dress but she looks so cute it looks like she's shopping for books stop and then today's tip of the day goes to D little bookshelf on Instagram you just tag me that's how you become merch shadow of the day or tip of the day and their tip of the day says keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground mm. I love that tip of the day because I feel like it's so important to always keep your head up, to always be, you know, having these crazy, being delusional. <laughs> that was me. That was literally me with this Hermes thing. I was literally being delusional because I don't have a huge purchase history in Paris and I was being delusional and then I feel like I was just at the right place at the right time and that my head was in the stars and it just like happened and I'm so excited for my bag now. But also keeping your feet on the ground, being very grounded, knowing where you came from. I feel like those are two very important things, but I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I'm always here if you need to talk. Same place, same time. I love you guys. Have a beautiful, magical, wonderful life. Bye. I know you want it, want it. Sides feel it rush, sipping on Hawaiian punch. Please the sides feel it rush, sipping on Hawaiian punch. Yeah.